This instalment of the A to Z of Beacon Productions is in its entirety. It's complete, you can see it all, and it hasn't taken too long to film. That's not always been the case with all of Beacon Productions, and some didn't quite finish as planned. So the letter U stands for Unfinished Business. Unfinished business, so I almost feel like I've been a bit rude, Jordan, sorry. <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> so Jordan is here because uh, there was a project that didn't get finished initially, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I feel like I should just reset the balance here. Uh, out of like the 1,000 odd productions that Beacon's done, hardly anything has never been completed. I think there's only one or two that were not completed. Uh, and looking back, there was something called Bognorado, which was some spoof of El Dorado which we were filming in Bognor Regis. Um, Hence the name. Yeah, we didn't finish it, but then we used some of the stuff in a neighbor spoof that we did, so it did kind of get used. And then there's this thing called Pink Percy Gold, where footage exists, and at some point, I need to do something with it. That's the round. But everything does get finished. Sometimes it just takes a long time, which we'll come to in a minute. But mm. you come up with The Ninth Man, which the club loved. Remind us again, what was the actual premise of The Ninth Man? So, so the the premise originally was around um, getting away from the studio. So I think we were really heavily involved in Stephen Brown at the time, and it was obviously very studio based. So we would try and find locations in different locations that were out and about, and then we try to create a story that fit around it. it. Was almost how it was coming together, but that was very much the driving force was to actually find places where we can get out to. And it was your baby, wasn't it? Yeah, this? very much so. Yeah. 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 So what was the story? What was the actual? Overriding so story. we had Robert Jameson, who was the, the main protagonist, and uh, he had a, a bit of a shady past um, that linked into... I mean, we didn't reveal very much about the past in the end, as it happens, but the idea was going to be around... It, it was linked to eight other people that were all sort of popping up in his past, which, as long as as well as having lots of different locations, allowed us to bring lots of different people in at any different point, because you could be the person popping his past number six that we yeah. hadn't previously encountered. The first one I remember went, went down really well with the membership because it was what was quite trendy at the time was filming with these little slight zoom ins on the camera and in and out of focus slightly and, and handheld uh, and the use of locations as you said and it was a breath of fresh air. Yeah. We did five stories, there was one in Devon, mm -hmm. I remember that, uh, there was one where Stu ended up playing a part and he had a f pitchfork or something. Went yeah, yeah, because yeah, we were out in the farm somewhere weren't we? And, yeah. uh, now, was it supposed to end with five stories? It wasn't, was it? What's... No, I, I think there was two aspects to it. One, it was life moved on a little bit. So I think a lot of the people that were heavily involved, myself included, it, you know, life dramatically changed at that period of time. Um, and so we weren't able to commit like we, we, we once did. But also, I think the show probably fundamentally suffered from the original premise being let's find locations and then create stories around them because going to caravans in Devon and going out to the farm place, a place we'd never filmed before, but then trying to have a single coherent story that kind of makes sense, people could follow the thread, kind of disappeared a little bit. And and even after the sort of the fifth episode, it was it, a lot of the stories started to get a bit muddied and a bit yeah, yeah a bit hard to follow. How, how many more stories were there supposed to be? If we'd done the series as a proper, how many did I, you think I, it would be? I think at the very least there would have been a good solid eight, one of featuring each of the other characters that were supposed to be in his background, and then a ninth one to finish on it. So I think at the very, if nothing else, we were probably were four episodes shy of hitting the nine. Yeah. And even then, actually, what we we did is we the very first episode was a sort of a proof of concept pilot where Josh played the lead, yeah. and then when we actually went to film the series, we almost started not quite again, but we kind of took it back to the original premise. With James Farmer with James thing, Farmer. Yeah. So was it disappointing? I mean, for you, or I mean, did you feel that the project? It is a lot bigger than you realise when you take it on. For, do you know what it was for me? Because I've moved on. I, at that point, I, I, I moved away for a time as well. And a couple of years later, I, I came along to a social and, um, and I speak to James and Sarah and a couple of other people at the, in the club. And I hadn't appreciated how keen they were to pick it up again and how keen they were to, to kind of continue and finish that story. Yeah. And I definitely couldn't commit to a long running series. And obviously the background to it being the potential problems that were there as well. So we agreed to do to sort of wrap it all up a, a sort of feature film that takes it 
through the entire story. Yeah. So we're now 2015, aren't we? We're, yeah. we're talking about here. Uh, and Stephen Brown had finished, so the schedules were suddenly opened up for this. Yep. Um, and it went, it started well. Then what do you think? Did it just take too long, or, or was it people's So Yeah, I think schedules. So for a start, actually, what was really nice is that there's to turn around a you know, an hour and a half script anyway, which uh, to, to get that out was actually not as, or, you know, as problematic as I thought it was going to be because actually we had a lot of story to go in and, and pick up and, and try and use. So we had the luxury of going in and picking out all the best bits from the series and developing that into a film. Um, but I think scheduling a, a, a shoot on one day a week, if you can do it, and then everybody else's schedule. I mean, we were filming for close to, what, six months and we yeah, still hadn't yeah, we finished were, yeah. all of the shots. And then... Um, and then life got in the way again, and it got to the point where we were about 80% complete, but trying to film that last 20% was becoming impossible, and we'd lost locations by that point, and, and other problems had hit the sort of production of actually trying to get that last 20% filmed. So am I actually thinking, we're going to see the final <laughs> version now? The Night yes, you, yeah, there is a watchable, well, I mean, we have, we've sat down and watched yeah. it. Um, you and James were sh shown a little uh, special the whole thing. Sh yeah, showing yeah. of it. Um, because we didn't quite manage to get that last twenty percent filmed, we had to cheat a couple of scenes. But it's it's watchable. It makes sense. It um, you know you're not coming to the end of it going, Christ, what was that? Um, but there are just a couple of bits that we just need to polish up on, and some of that's um, yeah, pretty much there now. I think it's yeah. so. The idea will be, and it will make sense to the audience. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Jordan can look back at this episode and say, ah. It's now finished. Business. It is now finished. Yeah, business. brilliant. Well, thanks, Jordan, for explaining. It's just nice to hear it from you. I could have just prattled on, <laughs> but it's better to hear because it's not simple to do these things. I think the thing that we've learned and I've learned as a club is we don't do films. You know, no, we, I mean, Russ's yeah. Day 66 has taken a long time as well. I mean, scheduling aside, it's it's been what, 30 hour plus edit? Mm. And it's, you know, it's too much. It's, it, yeah. yeah. It's better for the bite-sized little series, and which I think we've always known works for Beacon, but it's, it's, it's never a failure to try these things out. To try and go for the challenge is a good thing. Yeah, and, and ultimately, I mean, it's, it'd be nice. It'd be nice that somebody that's watched stuff 10, well, what, 12 years ago, crikey now, then we can actually now see kind of what the whole story was, was supposed, to be, supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. yeah. So. so yeah, the thing to take from this episode is just write shorts, don't write a full film, because I will just say, Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.